set up. No. It feels so dry in here, which is funny because like it's humid as shit outside right now. Yeah, it's kind of dry here too. I <laughs> know what's with your stupid little doodles. You're gonna have to like, you know what? I don't care. It, it might not get in the way. What? Your doodles and stuff. Okay, so you already draw really good hair. It's just you don't draw it very animated. Mm. Like when you draw hair. It looks like that. No, I'm just kidding. When you draw hair, uh, I'm gonna make even another layer. See how small the little layers are? I can't even see them. Yeah, that's what it looks like when you draw hair, which is pretty pretty close to anime hair already. It's just more cartoony looking. Like if I was to draw that exact same thing. No, bring it back. <laughs> You know, I would do more like. Oh my gosh. I have to get used to how this draws. This <laughs> is. Like, you see, that's pretty fucking similar to what you did. It's just like slightly more detailed. And I would actually do something like, you know, anime esque, like that or some shit. Yeah. But I that wouldn't translate well with my art stuff because I don't draw detailed as, at all. Do you want to learn how to draw and color anime hair or not? Mm, uh, I want to learn how to draw something that does well with my art style. And to do that, you should learn the polar opposite, which is, you know, anime-esque style so that you can find a happy in-between, right? Mm. You do not just Maybe. have me stream this just started the stream and then tell me you don't want to learn what we previously said you could learn i want to learn how to draw boobs <laughs> i'm not gonna teach you how to i'm not gonna teach you how to draw boobs on stream bro they're right there oh my god okay so we're just gonna go with this hairstyle since this is the one that uh that we already have drawn or whatever i'm just gonna do like a little expression oh let me do the expression i already did it I'm gonna delete this box. Fuck this box. I hate the layers. There we go. I changed it. And then I'm just gonna do like a red because I think that's really an easy color to start with. Okay, let me see how to look at this other. It's okay. That's so soft. I don't want a soft. I just want to give it a big brush. there's no fill tool or whatever. Okay, so obviously first we gotta do the base coloring of the hair. I'm just gonna do like a really like shitty... Wait, there is a fill tool. Does the fill tool work really well? I feel like it doesn't work well. Uh, probably not. I don't know how... If the... I'm fucking stuck on... Nope. Procreate's stupid ass tool, so I don't know. You're stuck on what? Procreate's dumbass fucking fill tool. I think Ibis has the best fill tool besides if you're talking about computer programs and then do fire alpaca, but I bet that's wrong too. You bet it's what? Can I fill with this at That's least? wrong too. Okay, so it does fill, it just does that white line thing where it doesn't fill enough. You can't like add pixels. What do you mean add pixels? Oh, to the fill I tool. Know. I don't know. I don't want to. I don't want to try and adjust it because I don't know how it works. And I don't like. I'm trying to teach stuff, not figure out this program. So you should be doing the same thing that I'm doing right now, student. That should be what. <laughs> you gotta pay attention when I'm talking. You gotta be doing the same thing I'm doing. Don't you wanna? You said you learn best by doing, right? So that means you should be 
filling in the hair with a like a close color of this. Dude, that already looks really good. I like how you're already translating it into your style because you're doing like more jagged line right here, but a smooth line right here. That's kind of like exactly what I was thinking that you should do. And like this already, like this looks better than what I did, so. I would try and make the ends a little more pointed. You see how pointy mine are? It's so funny watching you draw because you draw like literally the opposite way I draw. Um. I could probably combine these layers. Did I move stuff down? This made my hair. Okay, so fill that in. Clippy mask. Is it clippy mask? No. What do I do with clippy mask? This is a clippy mask. There we go. Okay, fill it in. Fill it in. You gonna fill it in? What are you doing? Filling it in, baby. I'm not like fat guy breathing into my mic, right? No, you're not. I'm like, I guess I'll just fix mine a little bit since I'm waiting for you. He is not a good program to do art on. All the essentials. Good for doodling, but that's it. What more could you ask for? Oh god, I could ask for so much more. <laughs> Are you serious? I think the concept is just very novel. I mean, the concept's great. And there's like other ways to do this, but they cost money, so... Well, I think you should quit your fucking bitch and the Aggie creators watching. I don't think they are. I don't think they'd care what I have to say anyways. The Aggie creator 100% of Brony too. What? You say that. When you boot up Aggie, it showed um, like My Little Pony shit back in the day. I don't know if it still does. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? Word. go play uh okay so i got copy um so now make a layer above that one and it's a little arrow next to the the eraser mark and the lock mark and that'll make a clipping mask mm -hmm. do you have that ready mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. so there's <laughs> shut up so there's different ways to shade hair i'm gonna show you the most basic one first because it's like also the easiest so I'm just going to take a darker color and make it kind of purple, and I'll throw it down so you can have it. What the fuck? Oh, right. Clipping mask. I'll just put it on this layer. Here, so this is the color we're going to use. Oh, 
Okay, so the easiest way to color stuff is, this is like a classic anime way. This is like the quick way to do it, is you just draw, because if you think about it, light is going around the head. So you just draw like this as if you're drawing a shine. This is going to be really hard on Aggie because of the blend or whatever. And then just fill in, like obviously this would be behind the person's head. That is way more purple than the color I gave you. I told you to use the, the color I fucking put on the board. I can't use your color. I have to do it myself. You use the, the, the fucking the fucking eyedropper tool. The fuck you mean? No, I mean I have to do it myself. I have to learn. Okay. Is this purple not good? That's too purple for what I'm trying to show. How do we do it? Uh... It's the eyedropper tool. It's literally right above the face. Yeah, I got it. I got it. I got it. <laughs> God. <laughs> I already hate this. Okay. So then, usually what I do is, like, I don't, the soft brush on here is kind of weird. You have to, like, take the density all the way down. What does this check mark do? What does this do? I don't know. Okay, soft do. brush. Huh? What's a soft brush? Um, you have to make it. So go to another, like, because, you know, it's got, like, the multiple tools. So go to another tool thing. Make the brush really big. Turn. Wait. What's this? Okay, no, it's not density. Put density at like forty two percent. Uh, make the opacity like eighty seven or something, and then make sure hardness is all the way at zero. Did you get it? Mm -hmm. So then, normally, what you do is you do like this soft type of thing. It's really hard to do with this fucking stupid ass. This is what you you need to do. You need to make it look like softer or whatever. Put too much. I'm just being a perfectionist too. It also helps if you uh take off the pressure and make both the min size and the regular size the same size so you don't have that it doesn't do like a little tiny line or whatever when you're trying to do a, a big line. Sorry, I'm choking on my spit, Christ. <laughs> yeah. And then if you give it, if you do it above the little line, you can erase it too. You don't have to worry about like trying to be per perfect. I think I did too much. Just do like a few brush strokes underneath the line, enough to blend it in with the rest of the hair. God damn it. There you go. Okay. So then that's like literally. Like I said, this is the easy way. That's you're done with the shading part. Now you just have to do the highlights. Which, if you want to grab this like peach type of color I put up there, you can use. You can have all kinds of different colored highlights. You can even do white. We're just gonna do this softer yellow highlight, and then go back to your normal brush. And then there's a few ways you can do this that are popular. I'm gonna actually make a new layer so I can show the different ways of it. So one of them, the easiest one, is you just swipe through what the fuck why is my min size hold on is you just try and keep it on this line
and then you can add like a little bit of shine down here. And you can still do it the same way with the swoop if you want to. Why is this fucking brush piece of shit? Like that. And then that's it. Like you'd be done with this this shading. Like super easy, super simple. It's what a lot of animes do. <laughs> and then another style. And you don't have to copy all of these. I just want to show you all the different styles. Just delete the layer. What am I doing? Another way to do it is like doing a uh in fractions, which you that's like what I normally do. That's what I do when I shade uh stuff right now. Is like you can do it like this line stuff where it's just like on every strand piece, or you can do like, you know, more of a uh jagged type of thing or you can do circles the only thing with that is you just have to make sure you don't put too many like don't put on every single hair strand you don't want the hair to look overly shiny unless you're going for that type of style you want it to be like kind of evenly set out and then of course you can use it like down here as well to make it you know not all the shine at the top of the hair i think that one is more popular in animes that i've normally see than the uh, first one I showed. Yeah, that again, that's it. That's pretty much all you have to do. And the last one erases is the one that I was showing you that one day. I think I actually was streaming that day where the way I do this is I'm going to try and explain it like I did last time. It's like this is a strand of hair right here. So you're gonna put a line on each end and then connect it with like this weird like bridge type of connection and then just do that with other strands of hair where you're just connecting it. And then if you want it to have like spike in the middle you can do that as well. And this is not looking very well because I fucking hate this program. But... And that's more like a vanilla old anime style way of making shines on hair. And then I usually go back with the eraser and make them even thinner and like try and even it up. Oh my god, this is so hard to do. I would make them a little more jagged on some of them so they're not just like a copy and paste looking thing. But that does look really good, what you're doing. Then I won't change it. You will or won't? Uh, no. Okay. I don't usually use this type of style, even though I like it, because I usually just, like, can't do it very well. I either put too much shine, or it just, like, doesn't look good or something. See, what you're doing looks good. Like, again, this is just my personal preference, but, like, I feel like this needs to split down the middle... I'm gonna fucking make a layer above all your layers so I can show you what I mean. Excuse me, coming through with my layer, just gonna drag it to the top in between all your layers. Ah, uh, I hate this. I'm trying to drag it up and it's like not letting me do it. Is there a, a thing to move the layer all the way to the top? By going to the top and then clicking the top layer and then adding a layer? 
Well, it doesn't let me select your layer because it's your layer. Oh, what the fuck? No, I brought the wrong layers. one to the top. What the fuck? Wait, why is that down there now? Nice job, Lucian. You're fucking it up for everyone. How Give me I my layer that? back. How did I do <laughs> You have to leave it. I can't even take it back. <laughs> what layer do you? <laughs> it's all the way at the bottom. <laughs> um. <laughs> don't laugh. Don't laugh too hard. Your mic ain't picking it up. Um. I'm fucking. I'm fucking crying. This is like the worst stream ever. I fucking I stole your layer and I did. and I jerked it all the way to the bottom. I can't and even I drag get... it all the way up on my own. And now I can't and now I can't hold on, okay, hold on. Uh wake up mouse. Okay, I'm gonna um And you fucking put a little shit drop on my fucking character's face. <laughs> Stop! Shut up! I'm trying to fix it. Hold on. I need to drag it over to another window so I can see the layers. Because the issues on my tablet, it's really short, so I can't see the layers properly. Okay, hold on. How do I give this back to you? Oh, assign layer two. There you go. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay. <laughs> okay, I fixed it. Hold on. Don't make an angry face, please. Okay, what I was trying to say is you should make a, a split right here because if you think about it, this being one chunk of hair is literally like, unless she's got, or he or they have hairspray or whatever, like it should probably be more than one. And the simplest way is just make it into two chunks. So you would think about how there's a piece of hair right here. And so there would be a highlight right in this area. And since you did one down mm. here, it'd probably be like that. Mm. Like when I did this one, I literally was like, oh, there's going to be a piece of hair coming through here because if it's just one chunk of hair again it looks like like unless you hairsprayed your hair like that but even then there's still strands it'd have to be like a lot of hairspray mm -hmm. but anyways let's move on to the the next way to uh there we go the next way to uh, shade hair or whatever um also just a random thing like one of my favorite artists one of the ways they shade hair is they like they would put my fucking brush is too big they would put like little triangles like this or i'm uh, not do i know my shapes no i don't a diamond not a triangle and i always thought that was really cute and i don't know if you notice but sometimes when i do art i'll actually do like an upside down cross type of thing uh -huh. So you can do all kinds of shapes for that stuff. You can like I've even seen people do fucking hearts and stuff. Like that's what that's why I like this is my my one of my favorite types of doing this is because you can just do all kinds of stuff and it's super fast and simple. So please do not do penis. <laughs> uh, I hate you so much. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and delete this and I'll show you the way I personally shade hair. So I'm just going to grab the color that I chose earlier. I'm going to see if I can translate it to this program. It might be kind of hard. Now this is a lot harder of a way of shading stuff. Um, let me zoom in a little bit. Because it's not just, oh, you just draw a line over. Like, you literally have to think about, like, for example, when you think about this hair, this is where it's coming from. That's like the butthole of the hair. It's all spewing from there. And then these are all the individual strands going through to it, you know? 
And that's how you have to think about it when you shade it. If you want it to look, you know, more correct. Because obviously none of this is realistic. This is all just a stylized thing. But again, so I'm just going to turn the opacity down on this and, like, leave this here so we remember that, like, this is in sections. So when you shade the hair, you have these invisible lines. Like, you could also just keep the lines. Again, stylistic choice. But you're going to think about, okay, I want to shade this piece right here. So I'm going to grab from this imaginary line and just, like, shade it to the end of the strand. And you also should have, like, where you're getting the sunlight from, or the lighting or whatever, but I'm stupid and don't do that, so if you want to learn how to do that, you'll have to find someone that's not a shitty teacher. Why am I even here, then? I don't know why you're here. So I'm I pretty much- here. I use these invisible lines to do all of this. And sometimes it's okay to fill in the entire strand with shading. And, like, it's okay to also put, like, shading in the middle of it, because it's it's strands. It's strands of hair. It can be shaded all kinds of weird ways. I could do one, like, right here and stuff. And then for the bottom of the hair... Are you gonna follow along, or are you just gonna doodle I'm not doing you... this one. This one seems too complicated. I don't... I don't That's why I you're like here to learn! If you do the steps I'm doing... You can do it along with me, and then I could show you, you know. But this one seems a little overkill. Like, the rest I was like, yeah, this works. But this one seems like I know I won't be doing this one. Okay, whatever. So. This one I just watch. And again, to make it quick, because the body would technically be here, you can just shade all of this in. Literally, how much you decide to shade each strand is literally, like, it'll change how it looks completely, and it's always, like, a stylistic choice type of thing. So what I do, you don't have to necessarily do. And then I also put shading right here, because that's where the head's at, so there would be shadow going down on it. Even nowadays, usually I like to be quicker with my art, so I won't go this in-depth with shading. I'll usually, like, just do a few things or whatever. A few strands. You don't get tired of this? Um, no, because I kind of just space out when I do it. So, again, I don't usually shade it this much, so I'm going to actually erase a little bit. This was more just to show, like where it would shade, where the shading would go, along with the strands. Also, my lines are, like, super fucking bobbly because I hate this thing. Yeah, it looks like heaps better now that you're toning it down. Yep. I also try not to focus too much on the shading of the hair, because like I said, I'll space out and I'll do this for hours and hours of just like perfecting it when it literally would look only slightly better with the stuff I do. I'm also erasing some of the shadow down here because like, you know, highlights and stuff. And again, this is probably not very close to realism, but that's not what I'm even trying to go for, so. What the fuck? Because I like more of a soft look anyways. If I leave those strands really long, it's going to give more of a spiky look, which is, you know, anime is naturally spiky. Except for mm -hmm. when it's soft, so. <laughs> anyways. So then also what I usually do, again, I'm going to try it in this program, is I like stuff looking soft, so I take a soft brush and just like where most of the shadow is, I'll just kind of soften it up a little bit.
Like, that's literally it. I just added a little bit of a soft gradient to where all the strands end. Then what I do is I take a darker color, which is this color up here, and just do, oh my god, a little more, just to emphasize the, what do you call it, the depth. Yeah, the depth of the hair, I guess. It looks so good. Then from what you do on from here is all stylistic choice. I personally like to grab the color I'm going to use for the shine. And I'm just showing you, this is exactly how I shade like all my art. My VTuber is shaded this way, blah, blah, blah. This is going to be hard to show because there's no like, usually you use a gradient tool, but there's not a gradient tool. So I have to like do it by hand. But you just like where the light's coming from. I'm gonna even get a little bit of the light in this a little bit. And then you go over to the uh, layer settings. You know, they got normal, dark, and multiply, blah, blah, blah. Well, here, right here in this section is where all the lighter ones are. And I'll usually do like lighten or screen. Um, they don't have add on here, unfortunately, which is what I normally use. So I'm like, okay, screen looks good. And then I just lower the opacity a bunch. And see, like, this doesn't really make that big of a difference, and it also kind of looks shitty because there's no gradient. I'm just going to go ahead and merge that down, too. Um, and then what I've started to do is I'll take, like, so this is, like, a red color. So I'll take, like, a... I'm just like a brighter, like I'm literally just going all the way to the top of the saturation of it and then like maybe just like a pink or something. And then I just go along the edges of all the hair, like all where it spikes and stuff. Be a little bit lighter of a color. And again, I usually play around with like the, the, the overlay settings, so I can't really do it so much. Uh, what do I normally use? soft light no it's not going to show very well because i used red but i'm going to do overlay and then turn it down a little bit because that's like the the reflection kind of sort of and then i also take that exact same layer and i duplicate it and i take it to z layer mark And I do a clipping mask on the line art. Where is it at? This is line art, right? There we go. So it makes it look the line art look a little bit softer. I do this instead of like coloring the line art completely or anything, because it's just a quick, easy way to do it. And then the final step that I personally do is I take that light color that I used and I do the shine. And the way I like to do the shine because I've been looking at artists that I really like or whatever is again, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it because there's not even a smudge tool on this that I see. I'm going to zoom in for this. Is I take the same method where like, you know, there's like the little dot method that we did or whatever. Mm -hmm. And I do that, but I do more like more of like a strokey type of thing. Then I make a new layer because normally what I would do is I'd go to the edges of these and I'd blur them right here, but there's no blur tool. So I'm going to make a new layer and I'm going to get the soft brush. And I'm just going to like put some softness on the edges of his mouth. That's it. <laughs> I guess you could turn down the opacity or something. Or yeah, what? that's what I'm going to do. Because there's an artist I really like that does the shading kind of similar to this, except way better than I do it. Pretty much I'm just like branching it outwards. And then yeah, turn down the opacity. 
again, it doesn't look as good as it could because also what I would do with this layer is I would make it an an add layer, which makes it really, really bright. But mm -hmm. they only have like screen and the color dodge is all weird, so I'll just leave it on screen. But that that's essentially what I do. That's that's how I shade hair. And and then you can look mm -hmm. at you know what trans drew and what I drew, and you can see, for the most part, they look th like the way you do it is very similar. It's just one is pr like literally just more detailed, put more time put into it. But they both look really good. They both you know have that nice anime shading style or whatever. So obviously, if you want something simple, you would do like the first example I showed because it takes like what five ten minutes or whatever. And then the second example, that could take hours and hours, depending on how much work you want to put into it. Because there's also more stuff I could do. Like, if I really wanted to, uh, I could make, like, this part right here, like, a dark purple. I could, you know, make it more in-depth. I could put, you know, more shading on the outside or more lighting on the outside, like this or whatever. There's so much more you can do. And you can play around with colors, too. Like, I just use red because that's the easiest way to do it. But normally I make it more purple or, like, I'll make it blue or something so it really stands out. Like, for example, I think I can actually take, which layer is it? So if I unclip this layer. Whoa, it looks like a bloody mince. Yeah, hold on a second. And then I clip this layer to it. So, yeah, I need to unclip all of these. So I took the shading layer and I grabbed a layer to unclip it. I can actually change, and this is why I like doing clipping layers, because you can change stuff. I can change the color by clipping a new layer onto it and just, you know, doing a brush stroke over it. And then I could merge that down, re-clip it onto the original layer, and boom, you got purple shading for the hair. Hmm. There, there's the highlights back. So that's why I like doing clipping layers, because you can always unclip them, edit them, and then clip them back again. You can't clip stuff and then keep it clipped like for example if i try and clip it like everything's clipped right now and if i want to you know modify this to be more red see it's also going over my shines i know it's kind of hard to see and stuff but it's not editing only the shading layer like here let me take a green for example like we want to we want to turn this purple green but we want to keep the red red well if you do that what's well, clipped this is clipping everything it's clipping the entire thing because all the clip layers are onto the hair layer so you have to unclip it first but again, that's that's why I like clipping layers. And then also with clipping layers, what's cool is if I'm like, wow, this is way too dark, you can change the opacity. It's not on the same layer as the hair, so you could totally change it to be as light or dark as you want, and then you can play around with that. Mm -hmm. So again, there's so much you could do with coloring hair and like all that stuff, but this is just like the basics of the basics of how I learned to do it and stuff. I do. So in depth, so in depth. Uh, it's just yeah. from years of doing stupid shit. So clearly not. It is not stupid. And then I'm gonna zoom out, and then I'm gonna draw above. No, yeah, I'm gonna draw above where we drew. With anime hair. Like, literally what you do right now is pretty similar, and like what- this example right here is literally perfect because not- did, you didn't draw what I drew. You took what I drew- oops, what the hell did I do? No, give me my pen back. But you drew what I- you took what I drew and you translated it into your style, which is exactly what I think you need to do anyways. It's just I was trying to get you to draw what I'm drawing first, so it's, you know, you know the- the very tail end of it. Gotcha. Uh, Anime hair is all about, like, knowing where the hair's coming from, the butthole of the hair, and then just drawing from it. And adding, like, little, you know, little strokes of hair to make it more detailed. Whereas cartoon hair, as you know, is more of just, like, very blocky. There's not as much detail going into it. But see, like, 
this is works there's nothing wrong with this but what you should do is you should find the center of the hair no take it back bring it back because like if you look at this if you think about it stop drawing stuff on it this looks like it's going up here see because you made it so straight that's why you should find the butthole so you can round it out and that's what makes it more soft looking and more anime looking Because see, even with my cartoon example, it looks like it's just going upwards. So there's no point like there is here, where this is all literally going into this hair right here. Like, it's all going into that. Like, that's how I would draw something normally. Yeah. anime hair is all about being spiky but also being soft and all going into one point like even this is all going into this point right here like you could draw lines all go into it and it would still look you know somewhat natural because it's all going into that one particular point even these hairs right here these are going into that butthole of the hair and that's how people draw really detailed hair is they just take every single strand and they draw less chunks more each individual strand and then when you get more advanced you can draw like you know strands out of place you know like that or whatever because that's more realistic is to have strands going out of place hair doesn't just perfectly lay down unless you against you know hairspray the shit out of it Like, even with, like, the crazy anime hair that goes, like, super upwards and stuff like this, like, it's still going from that specific point. They're all coming out of this particular butthole of the hair. And you can have multiple points of it too. Like for example, this one has two points, two buttholes. Two buttholes. Oh, but then I also need a reference. Reference to what? The hair. What do you mean? I don't know really hairstyles. I don't know hairstyles. That's why I do like the same three hairstyles. Well, it depends if you're doing a masculine or feminine character, because feminine characters, like, have so many different hairstyles you can do. Masculine characters, unless you go into the more feminine field, if you dip into that, like, having a long-haired character uh, that's more masculine whatever, it's hard to come up with hairstyles for them, because, like, typical boy hair is always like, oh, here's this, here's some short bangs, and then it's short in the back, or, oh, here's even shorter bangs, and it's short in the back. And that's kind of it. Like, you can add long pieces, but that's going to feminize it or whatever. Whereas girls, it's like, you can have long hair, you can have medium hair, you can have these kind of bangs, you can have these kind of bangs, you can have these kind of bangs, you can have more hair coming down, you can add hair uh, ponytails and pigtails and shit, you can make the pigtails super long, you can make them super short. Like, there's so much you can do with feminine type hair. Whereas, you know, if you want your character to look masculine, there's only so many styles that look masculine until they're going to make them look feminine. Like, for example, if, if a character, if a, a, a character that you was like, this is a guy character, if they have super long hair and you want it to be super obvious that they're like a cis character that's a guy or whatever, usually you have to add like a beard or make them like, you know, like super masculine looking with the eyebrows and eyes to show that it's a guy character because if i just draw like regular ass anime eyes on it like this like that looks pretty feminine you'd probably think oh that's a girl so yeah but that's just my opinion i, I like drawing feminine hair on everyone so i don't really care about having too masculine of characters it's just when i draw hair it's really easy to come up with a female hairstyle but when i think about like you know cis more masculine hairstyles i can't come up with very much mm. Because to me, there's not much there without it looking too feminine. Because even having bangs, bangs are inherently feminine from how our society has made it. 
and there is a lot of, you know, cis anime guy characters that look like girls to people who don't watch anime. And then the whole anime trope where they look like a girl but they're a guy, or they look like a guy but they're a girl. So Japan already, like, fucks with all that stuff. This motherfucker from the 2000s. He looks like that character from that one robot cartoon that has the flames and stuff. No idea what you're talking about. God. I don't remember his name or the name of the show or anything. All I know is him and he had like a a bigger sidekick guy and they had a robot and it had flames on it and it was like a very Americanized anime type of show. That's that's literally all I remember. So I can't well, look it up. Ain't, ain't no way I got that in the recesses of my mind. I wonder if I could on Cartoon Network. Oh. Yeah. Uh What is it called? I guess it's just called Mega's XLR. This thing. That's what it kind of reminds me of. It was, it was a it was a weird Weird show. Not able to see what you're talking about. <laughs> Here, I'll, I'll send you a screenshot on Discord so I can show you. That's what I'm talking about. I don't even think you even know what that show is. Megas XLR. I mean, it sounds familiar. It was a very brief show, Oh, yeah. The dudes who fucking ride a mech because they play video games and they're the best people suited to fight the mechs. Is that and what it was? I remember mech. it was, like, fucking ridiculous. That's all I remember. They're like, <laughs> I fucking jerk off all day and drink Mountain Dew, but I can ride this mech. I'm suitable for this weapon, <laughs> the giant weaponized vehicles. Also, I just love cartoon and anime type hair because you can make it so stylized and it looks good. Like, Pokemon is notorious for having the weirdest stylized hairstyles. Give this guy a hairstyle. What guy a hairstyle? Oh my god, I didn't even know you were drawing. I'm not giving him a hairstyle. He looks... He looks like he's peak perfection. There's nothing I can do to make him look better. Except, you, except, hairstyle. get the end of those blushes. Now he is perfection. He kind of cute, though. <laughs> Would you date him? <laughs> oh, lordy. Would you? <laughs> Answer the question. You drew him. He's I your creation. I fucking wouldn't. No. No. Fuck no. Why not? I made him. I could say he's ugly as shit. <laughs> I don't think he's ugly. I think he's cute. Yeah, you know who he is? He's the fucking Punisher, bro. I don't know who that is. <laughs> Makes it more funny to me. Anyways, that that's all I had for the the lesson and stuff. It was just like... I don't know. Do you feel like you had a good good grasp on what I was saying? Do you feel like you learned yeah, something? Yeah, I feel like I learned something. I'm gonna try and use this shading style next time I draw something. Yeah, and then if you want to show it to me, I can critique it or whatever. Mm -hmm. Like I, I think show it to you, Audition. I think you did really good already. Like I said, the whole like I was trying to show you, like I figured you'd copy line for line what I was drawing, but instead you did a stylized version, which is exactly what I think you should have done anyway. So. Can we just doodle now? I want I want I want you to draw this hairstyle right here that I drew. I want to see what you do with that in stylized because it's oh, so Lordy. soft looking. You don't have to erase it; you just draw under. I need it to be next to it so I can see. You know, I can move stuff around, right? Like I can literally. All right. See. 
Hold on, I'll select it and I'll move it underneath the other drawings. Yeah, right here. How do I deselect? Drag. Okay, I'm just gonna be selected on it forever. That's fine. I don't care. <laughs> that one giant thick line out of nowhere. Also, what's so different about us is when I draw something, I'm not going to erase it unless I literally think it looks like trash. You will erase the line until you get it perfectly how you want it. If I drew like that, it would drive me crazy. <laughs> That looks good. Now shade it. Shade it how I taught you how to shade stuff. Not your little whore. You can make do anything. <laughs> You're my Calm student. Down. Shade it. Oh, I guess that's the same thing, huh? If you want a good grade, you have to shade it. God damn it. You should make it a pink color. How do I unselect that shit? Deselect, okay. I'm stupid. Okay, we shade now. You don't always die from tobacco.
Chicken bone up there. Who is that? No. Don't be like those people in like like sixth grade, they're like, Who is that? Is that me? Is that you? Bro, no. It doesn't even look like it. No, I'm saying give give your fucking doodle some substance. Give me a story. Do some world building. Enjoy no. that creative juice you were blessed with. No. Or just let it rot in there like a fucking six pack of colas you forgot in your garage. I have an issue with the shoulder for this. Like, why do they have ears like that? Why are their boobs that big? Why are their hair that long? Like, there's a lot of stuff you can do. Uh, no. I'm okay. Uh oh. <laughs> Say I did that. Do you think that works, or is that a bit jarring? No, I think it looks fine. I was just watching you do it six times over when the first, like, four times was fine. Yes. I'm in the middle of streaming right now. <laughs> yeah. I think that looks really good. Thank you. Especially with how shitty the tools are that we have to use for this program. Thank oh, thank you. Uh, If you're gonna sneeze, just come out, man. I hate that shit. It was like, uh, uh, maybe. <laughs> Is the shading on the bottom too much? Um, I think it looks fine. Mm.
Okay. Ta-da. God damn, you were doing that on the side? What the fuck? I meant ta-da as in your try, not mine. Jesus Christ. Did you feel like you have a good grasp of it? Or at least you're at least getting a grasp of it? I don't it? know. Does this look good? I don't know how I feel about it. <laughs> I think it looks pretty good. I think that the reason why it doesn't look quite as good is my layer where I can draw over your stuff like a dickhead. This right here, <clears throat> oh my god. This right here is really short. So if you made the gradient go down more, which again, it's hard to do on this one. It would look a lot better and then also there's so much empty space right here which is fine yeah. like, this looks fine that i would take this light color right here and do a gradient going down on it that's why it looks kind of you know plain because the details are so small and the hair is so big because here it's like the hair is sleek and it's all like you know like this is a section and this is a section and this is a section Whereas on this hair, it's like, this is one whole section, this is one whole, this is one whole, like, it's big sections, so you have to do more detail to cover it up more. See, that looks a lot better, in my opinion. Then I would just do um, a gradient coming down that's lighter to take up this section. Or, what you could do instead is you could take, like, a light pink color, and you could, like, you know, just do the outline right here and, like, make it where it's got shines if you don't want to do gradient. The only thing with that also is, like, this looks weird to me because... Hello, Nobby! This looks weird to me because you got this dark section, and then you got this dark section, so, like, I don't know how lighting works, but to me it looks like this should just be colored in if it's gonna be so close to another shaded spot. Because, this, like, with how dark these both are, this should be a in-between that darkness which would be darker than the base hair color does that make sense <laughs> or you could do that that works too and then i would just do like a little tiny bit of shading right here Yeah, I think that looks way better. The only other thing that I would do in the future, because you would have to change the whole thing, is when you do this type of shading, you have to think about it as a circle. Like, if you look at it, your hair, the hair's going like this, which is kind of circular, like it could come back and be a circle, but it's pretty straight. So you have to think mm -hmm. about the head of a person is a circle. And so when this is where the hair's coming from, you should be doing a shading uh, or a, a line of like a halo of light around their hair around that circle so like this looks like it's doing this where it should be doing more of like you know like a you know what that makes sense or whatever that's not a penis stop <laughs> yeah like even i didn't really do like this looks like it's kind of a halo but this right here that's why this looks weird because it's just straight i didn't do the circular thing like i should have Mm. you see how like this looks okay but this looks weird because it's straight like her hair yeah. is not flat like a paper it's a tube so the shading should be around the tube mm. gotcha because she's got hair back here too it's just it's you can't see it it's out of view so it should be going around like that yeah uh, that's why these also look weird because you know these are straight too technically i should be doing them as a perspective as it's going back into the background or whatever yeah so again this looks really good especially since uh you know you just learned it or whatever i would just make it more circular in the future mm -hmm. thank you chef <laughs> shut the hell up i fucking hate that uh i think that's all i really have to teach you for this stream i haven't like, i feel like we made pretty decent progress or whatever i don't have anything else i was particularly thinking all right let's teaching. make let's make anime girls yeah sure you do that i don't want to draw anymore i'm tired i want to take a nap
Uh, let me draw you taking a nap real quick. I don't want you to draw me taking a nap. I'm going to end the stream. If you watch the stream, thanks so much for watching. If not, I'll never see you ever in my life. I'll probably do more Wait, drawing me... streams in the future, probably without this guy, because he doesn't listen let... to me. And he's, he won't let me let say me goodbye. Talk. He won't let me talk and end my stream. Let me say goodbye. You're literally talking right now. Zo zoom in right here. I'm not zooming in. Okay, bye. No!